How are you guys? I'm in the second video of the GCP optimizer and how to get the best connections, the best connection speed for your computer. So, like I said before, sometimes if you got a 20 MBit connection, you should be getting 2 megabytes for download speed. Normally, um, it's set at 3 MBits, which is 30 megabytes, or 3,000 kilobytes per second. So, your you're not getting your full internet connection speed once you're downloading normally. This opens up all the ports so you can download it. But in order to do so, what you do is you click modify all connections. You click custom. Okay. Now since I got a 30 Mbit connection, well 60, I'll just go all the way up to 60. I'll be getting 6 megabytes a second with the download speed. So I click that custom. Now what you want to do is click disable CTCP for TCP chimney. What you want to set it to is disabled for receive side scaling state. Click enable. Direct cache access enabled. Net DMA enabled. Oops. And then for MTU limit, keep it at 1500. Now 64 for the time to live. Again, these are the best settings possible for your system. And you change this accordingly to your internet speed after you do your internet speed test. Now, ECN capability disabled, window scaling disabled. Check some. Disable, enabled. Window scaling. Make sure that's checked there. Make sure this custom. Go to advanced settings. Up oh, another note is for the TCP chimney. This is only if you have. This is only if you have this connection. Your link. Well, it's only if you have a wireless LAN connection. Just it's best to have it disabled for the wireless LAN connection, but if you have a um, specific wireless card like me, I'm going to have it enabled, just so you know. Um, otherwise, just have it disabled for wireless LAN connection. And, and this one right here, only enable if you have a dual core, six, quad core, etc. And if you're running a single or a dual, just have this on disabled. I have a quad core, so it'd be a lot easier to just follow through with me. So it's a 20, 20, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then for the sync attack protect, enable one. This is just for viruses. Um, I have this enabled to protect me from viruses. And then three. And then enable. And this one, if you do a little bit of games, a little bit of browsing, have it on two. If you just do browsing, have it on one. And then if you do like a little bit of torrenting, a little bit of games, a little bit of a mix, you just have it on optimizing. And simply just go down this side with me. And have this to disable TCP act frequency. Um, we'll have that default um, enabled. Default. And then set these to zero. And set this to six, five, five, three, four. Set this to 30. go to and another thing is have this enabled if you have four gigabytes or more of RAM so I got four gigabytes so I'm gonna keep this enabled and the next thing what you want to do is click apply and restart your computer and everything will be up to date and your speed will actually your internet speed will go fast try downloading something let me know how it works thank you and have a great day hope you enjoyed this video